Okay, so Tashi, you said you started. I want to ask you another question before I get Andy's. Okay. Um, answer. You said you started in church, mm -hmm. and a lot of us started in church. How important was that? I mean, did that help you to get on the way to where you are now? Well, actually, um, they kind of brought that out of me because it was something mm -hmm. I had to do, but I also enjoyed it. Okay. But um, I don't know. I don't. Maybe it did have something to do with it, mm -hmm. but like I said, I didn't know this is. This is what I wanted to do. So how do your family feel oh that you switched over from, you know, okay, you, you came to church, now you're doing... Should we talk about my family? Yes. Like they, they will support me in anything I do. Oh, okay. If I wanted to sell... Are you going to cry? <laughs> <laughs> if I wanted to sell bathing suits on the side of the road, okay. they will actually be behind me 150%. And that's so important. But they really, I mean, they, they're not judgmental people. They accept me for who I am, and they, they support me in any and everything I do, so... I think they're they loving it. Hey, Mama! <laughs> hey, Mama! <laughs> Albany, Georgia is where I'm from. I love it. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll come back to you. Mm -hmm. Excuse uh, me. All right. <laughs> okay, Andy. You know, so she wanted to take hey. a show. Okay, so you started dancing. Yeah. At what age? I know everyone danced in the mirror at home from the time it was like two and three, you know, doing all of that. Doing so, all that. Right what now. age did you start your dancing? Oh, I think my mom put me in dance classes when I was in second grade. Oh. And then. I continued that for maybe about two years, but I was never really a girly girl when I was younger. Yeah. So I started boxing and boxing. doing karate for really? five years. That was cool. So then, you know, I would just dance at home in my mirror and like, hey, what's up? But I actually started dancing with Tashi um, as one of her backup dancers. And cool. that was really cool, doing different performances all the time. We would... Do little stuff off stage. You have a little slow motion thing. Oh, yeah, I remember that. It's infamous. It's going to be very close. Okay. See, so we would do that. And that was like, when I was a backup dancer, we were really close. You know, right. call each other on the phone. Like, hey, what's up? Act whatever, up. whatever. Act up all the time. All the time. So you guys knew each other before you started dancing for her. Mm -hmm. oh, really? No, 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 no. So when did you know that she could sing and she could rap? And uh, <laughs> We just kind of, we vibe so well, and I'm just the type of person, I'll pick up anything and just mm -hmm. try to do it. It's just not like, oh, you know. It's I like natural. It's like yeah. a natural talent. Like, we yeah. don't try to be, I don't try to be a singer or try to be a dancer. She don't try to rap. It's like natural. Like, the first time I heard her in the studio, I was like, who was that? Because yeah. her voice kind of changed a little bit. I'm like, right. wow. My voice changes in the studio. But when I hear it, I'm like, that's not Oh, me. my God. It's, it's sad. totally different. Like, so, no. I think it's, it's crazy. natural talent. It's yeah. innate. Like, we just, I don't know. It's magic. What's your magic? So, what when did you know this is what you want to do? Because you was dancing at first. So, I never knew. I mean, I always would write stuff, little songs, right. or I would write, you know, little raps. But I was never really a rapper. It was more a poet. More okay. than anything, like we have a song that I actually do a poem on that's great. called Me and My Music. And <clears throat> that's more on my side than just rapping. Like people always come to me and say, ooh, freestyle. And I'm like, no, because <laughs> I write. Okay. I write everything. Well, we'll be back with more from Neon Love. Love.